Come on, Martha. Last call for bathroom. Let's go. Don't touch me.
wasn't sure I'd catch you before you leave. What are you doing here? Isn't today your day out? Yes, I was on my way to church, but I couldn't resist stopping in to see if you have the ultrasound pictures of me. You got him, I hope. Mindy has them. All right, thanks. Hi. This is a surprise. <laughs> I just had to drop by to see pictures of my baby. <laughs> your baby. Well, I'm the one who's gonna be taking care of her. And you couldn't wait until Monday? Um, no, I couldn't. All right, <laughs> all right. Okay, so that is the head and that's the body. Oh gosh, you know what? Sort of looks like a girl, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, that's exactly what Cord's dad said when I showed it to him. <laughs> oh wow. When you're packing, make sure you take a lot of extra warm clothes. I heard it's gonna rain in the mountains tonight. Can't have anything happening to our baby, can we? You know, I was beginning to think that you were worried about me. Oh, yeah, a little. <laughs> All right. Do you think you could take this out to my CP? Sure, thank you. Hey, Cord, I've got Mindy's uh, bags by the door for you here. Awesome, thank you. Sure, no problem. We're the remaining few institutions for the criminally insane in Colorado, where three employees have been brutally murdered. The victims have not been identified pending notifications to the family. You guys be careful, okay? Okay, we will. All right. That's a suspect. Be careful, drive carefully. Will do. You have everything? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Bye, Stella. Bye. With me is Sheriff Brand. Sheriff, do you have any leads on last night's triple murder? It's been almost 12 hours. Yeah, we have several leads. We believe we'll apprehend the suspect currently. We were informed that the dogs lost her trail one block from the asylum. Could this mean that the suspect has somebody on the outside assisting her? Not necessarily. She could have stolen the vehicle or kidnapped somebody in the process. Any advice for the public? Yeah, stay inside, lock your doors. She's considered armed and extremely dangerous. Do not attempt to contact her and call the sheriff if you see her. And there you have it. This is Veronica Desky reporting to you live from the Providence Asylum. Mindy, y'all back for another weekend? Not sure how many more there'll be. We've actually decided to sell the property. Oh, you must have talked about that for a long time. This place meant everything to your dad. I know, it was just too much of a hassle to upkeep. How long you guys talk about that? I bet that was a tough decision. That place meant everything to your dad. He practically built it with his own two hands. I remember when he took you hunting with us. You started at what? About seven? 
<laughs> yeah, something like that. You know, I got a buck last week. I'm starting to dig into it and, and cook it. If I can, I'll bring you guys a leg later. No problem. We can actually pick it up on the way back into town tomorrow. Maybe I'll swing by you and I'll have a drink or two with you two. Just because you got that really good scotch I like. <laughs> You're always welcome. You gotta do some repairs before we invite buyers to take a look. Yeah, I understand. You always have to do that, Cord. But uh, you guys do what you have to do, and I hope you get a good price for it. See you, Joel. My car ran off the road. I was wondering if I could just... Here, come in. Come in. Thank you. Thank you so much. I was walking for nearly half an hour. I didn't see a house or a car. Here, I'll take your coat. Have a seat. I'll get you a blanket. Oh, I appreciate it. I'm gonna turn up the heat so it's nice and toasty. That would be nice. I tried to call for a tow truck, but I couldn't get a signal. Hey. Yeah, it's like that out here. We don't get any reception. We don't have a landline. Would it be too much to ask for a ride into town? That way I can call for a truck and get a hotel. Oh, this is my wife, Mindy. I was just about to tell her that she could stay the night and I'll take her to town in the morning. Is that alright with you? It's just that I was in an accident. Can you come here for a sec? How could you invite a complete stranger to spend the night without asking me first? She's freezing and she's tired, and I honestly don't feel like going all the way into town and having to drive all the way back. I should go. Okay, you don't have to. I don't want to impose. I insist, it's fine. 
What's your name? Martha. Martha Cunningham. Just make yourself at home, Martha, and I'll go make you some soup. We have a guest bedroom. Whenever you're ready for bed, you're welcome to it. You must be a Christian. I used to be. I haven't been to church in a while. But you believe in God. Oh yeah, of course. The Bible? There are some parts I'm not so sure about. I believe in all of it, and I try to follow all of its teachings. I'm sure that makes you a very good person. I try. Are you a Christian, Mindy? Not really. I think the churches have become corporations that peddle miracles for money. I suppose you're right about that aspect of it. But it's way more complex than that. Do you have any children? Not yet. But you're expecting. How did you... Just a guess. Am I right? Yes. <laughs> you have a certain glow about you. What about you? Any kids? I had a daughter. You had? She died. I'm so sorry. Was it an accident? A bad man killed her. Did they ever catch him? No. And I don't think they ever will. But I'm sure he'll pay for what he did. How can you be sure of that? Because I believe in the Bible. And it says an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. I think that also means a life for a life. He'll pay. Do you mind if I say grace? Oh, no, not at all. Heavenly Father, thank you for this nourishment I am about to receive. And bless the hands that prepared it. Bless this kind family who took me in from the cold. And I also pray that you take my daughter into the light of everlasting life and punish however you may see fit that evil man who snuffed out her life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. The Bible says, ask and you shall receive. This is something I've wanted more than anything. This is very good, Mindy. What are you doing in the dark? I couldn't sleep. It's like that most nights. Oh, I took a cup of your milk. Sometimes warm milk helps. Not a problem. You have a very handsome husband. Yeah, I do. You must have trouble keeping other women away. I trust him. What about your husband? Is he handsome too? He was, but he had a very lustful disposition. Would you have some milk with me? It's not a bad idea.
I like the way you keep this kitchen. It's very neat, clean, everything in its right place. Do you plan on having other children? You want to have one more, maybe two later down the line. That's good. Being an only child is no fun. Were you an only child? I was lucky. I had a sister. We were very close. We still are. Are you finished? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's fine. It's I'm, just a glass. It's I'm fine. really clumsy. It's fine. I got it. <clears throat> Cord? <clears throat> Cord! Keep calling. Cord! Cord! Stop. What the hell is going on? Do you see this? That's her carotid artery. If I slice it... She'll die in less than a minute. I swear to God, if you hurt her, I'll kill you. Put them on. If you think... I'm gonna I'm count to three, and then I slice. One! What is it you want? Money? I'll write you a check. Just tell me how, you, how much you want. Why are you doing this? <laughs> what did we do to you? Take the car. Take them! Do it, Cord! Jesus Christ, take it, Cord! This has gone far enough. If you think that I'm gonna put... You don't have a choice, Cord! You're not gonna make it. You'll lose two lives instead of one. Do what the fuck she says, Cord! Now put one of them on your left wrist. Good. Now hook the other one to the pipe under the sink. Now we're gonna play a little game. And this is how we're gonna get to know each other. Is that what this is about? A game? It's a very simple game. <laughs> we're gonna ask each other questions and tell the truth. How the hell are you gonna know if we're telling the truth? I'll know. But what do you mean you'll know? It was my job for years. I would learn to tell if someone was lying to me by watching them. Looking in their eyes. Watching their body language. Their breathing pattern. And I was never wrong not once. But what happens when the game's over? Will you let us go? Mm, it depends. I'll go 
first. <laughs> my parents, they were in a car accident. And that left me and my sister alone. So we went to live with my aunt and my uncle, and he was a deacon. And so he made us read the Bible every single night. But she went off to college, and I married my boyfriend. Got pregnant. Got divorced two years later. But I, I got custody of my daughter. Uncut from the pipe. Do it! Faster! Now cuff it behind your back. Get behind the counter or slice her throat. Sheriff, what's... what's going on? You guys hear about the manhunt going on? Manhunt? We had a female patient escape, Providence Asylum. Martha Cunningham. She killed three people. The asylum? Yeah, the asylum. It's been on the news all day. Uh, we haven't had a chance to see the news today. You guys see anything suspicious out here? Lock your doors and your windows. Call us if you have any trouble, all right? Okay, I will. Okay. Say hi to Cord for me. I will. Night. Get back on the ground. <laughs> yes, that was me in the asylum. I couldn't deal with my daughter's death.
and they treated me like a fucking dog in there. My daughter was such a wonderful child. Sweet. So innocent. Absolutely everything I could ask for. Your turn, Cord. Why did you marry Mindy? Because I loved her. Do you still love her? More than ever. Were you ever unfaithful to your wife? Of course not. The truth, Cord! No! <laughs> I'm gonna give you one last chance to tell the truth. Were you ever unfaithful to your wife? No! Were you ever unfaithful to your wife? No! Leave her alone! You crazy bitch! I'm telling the truth! There was never anybody else! He's telling the truth! We have a great sex life! Were you ever unfaithful to your wife? No! If you really love her, you'll tell the truth. Okay. Yes. Is that what you want to hear? Finally! <laughs> How old was she? 30? 25? 18? 18, that's it. That's pretty young. 18. That's pretty young, Cord. Did you tell her you were married? Did you tell her you were married, Cord? Did you tell her that you were gonna leave your wife? Did you, Cord? Okay, yes. Is that what you wanna hear? Oh, don't you feel better, Cord? <laughs> the Bible was right again. The truth will set you free. <sighs> Why didn't you leave your wife, Cord? And I'll know if you're telling the truth. Because I love her. You mean everything to me. You and the baby. Do you seriously think I would ever do something like that to you? Who is she? There is no she! What's her name? We'll talk about this. Just not under these circumstances. Yeah. Through our lawyers. My daughter and I... We were so close. My daughter and I, we were so close. She used to tell me all her little secrets. Her fear of spiders. The first boy she had a crush on. And then the first boy who kissed her. She was so young. So innocent. And then...
Sorry to keep you waiting. I had some work to finish. Work? Is that what you call that? Excuse me? Have you no shame? No decency? What are you talking about? I am talking about you running around like a slut up in that office. Are you spying on me? Is that what you're doing? You grew up in a Christian home, Melanie. You grew up with the Bible. I, I don't even believe in the Bible anymore. It's all <gasps> bullshit. You need to repent for those words, and you need to repent for your sin with that man. He isn't just a man. His name is Cord Lawrence, and we're getting married. <sighs> married? That will not wipe away your sin. When's the wedding? In a couple months, once his divorce goes through. Are you saying he's married? Those are the only people that get divorced. <sighs> Melanie, the Bible clearly states- I couldn't care less what the Bible states. We love each other, and we're getting married, and, and the baby- <gasps> Baby? What baby? The one I'm carrying. Cords in mine. You'll love him. He's he's handsome and educated and rich and sweet and he's and married. He doesn't love her anymore. He's told me a dozen times. And you believe him? Of course I believe him. Oh, men lie, Melanie. They lie all the time. They will say anything it takes just to get in between the legs of innocent, gullible girls. They will tell you anything just to stick their tools of Satan inside of you. He will never marry you, Melanie. You're wrong. You don't know what's in the heart. I don't want to talk about this anymore. So should we go, or do I need to walk home as punishment for my sins? divorce his wife, then you must get rid of the seed of this abomination or we will be the entire laughingstock of the whole church. I don't care what anyone at church says. I'm not killing my child. If thy right eye offend thee, then pluck Oh, it. God, would you shut up with this stupid fucking Bible verses? They are the words of God. Just get out! You must get rid of this spawn of your sinful you life. Leave me the fuck alone! You killed my Melanie. I don't know anyone named Melanie. This is all a big mistake. A mistake? Your name is Cord Lawrence, isn't it? I'm telling you, I don't know anyone named Melanie. You took advantage of her, Cord. She'd never even been in love before. It was so easy to make her believe that you loved her when you told her. To make her think that you were going to leave your wife for her. What do I have to say to make you believe me? I don't know a Melanie. You took my child? Now I'm gonna take yours. That's what the good book says, an eye for an eye. You'll what? 
just the child, Mindy. Just his child. She's my child, too. An innocent, unborn baby. Your daughter? She was a grown woman. She knew what she was getting into when she started an affair with a married man. I don't know what I have to tell you to make you believe me. I don't know a Melanie. You're not a good liar, Corey. If you believe that I did it, then kill me. Just don't hurt my wife or my baby. That'll be way too easy. You need to watch your child die. Just like I watched mine. That way she'll get peace. And I can sleep at night. Now. <laughs> you could do this the hard way. Or a more civilized way. Your choice. This. This one you take by mouth. It softens the cervix. Increases uterine contractions. Allows the fetus to pass. This one, you can take by mouth, or I can insert it into your vagina. And that completes the abortion process. You're crazy, you sick bitch! <laughs> She's a baby! An innocent baby! Open your mouth. Open your mouth, Mindy! <laughs> You're sick! You crazy bitch! Shut up, Court. You caused it. You fucking caused it! All of this is your fucking fault! Get off of her! Get the fuck off of her! You caused it! You fucking caused it! All of this is your fucking fault! Open up. I'm sorry, honey. I'm so sorry. Take it. What? Now cut yourself. What? Let the warm blood flow so you may be cleansed of your sin. Are you out of your fucking mind? Cut yourself down to the shin bone so you may be cleansed of your sin! This is bullshit! If you think that I'm going to... Cut. And you will feel the pain that I felt, Cord. Five. Cut. And you will be saved. Four. Pain. It's the cleanser of the soul. And without cleansing, there is no absolution. And without absolution, there is no salvation. Three! Cleanse your soul, Cord. This is your last chance for salvation. You need help, Martha. Shut up! Two. One. Okay. I'll do it. You sick cunt! No. Again. Again. Yes. 
for now. Come in. It's cold as hell out there. From what I understand, hell ain't cold. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jerry Lawson, Deputy Head of Security from Providence Asylum. The higher ups thought that I could be of some assistance in bringing in Martha. They want her caught but not killed. It's nice to meet you, Jerry. We want the same thing. I have a file right here on my computer. I thought we could look at it together, just in case we missed something. Sounds good. Bring it over to the desk. This is her when she was brought in 12 years ago. Since then, she's gotten more and more confused, especially with time. And she totally lost it when Melanie died. Who's Melanie? It's her baby sister. She consistently referred to her as her daughter. I told you to get out. You have offended the Almighty God with your adultery. Shut the fuck up and get out. God has instructed me to ask you to repent. God spoke to you? Yes, he did. And he wants you to ask for forgiveness. Well, I'm not sorry for a damn thing. Cord and I will be married, and he will divorce his wife. He just needs time. God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah because they did not repent for their wicked ways, and he will destroy you too. Fuck you and your bullshit! God has anointed me to be his instrument. <laughs> his instrument to do what? To destroy you and the seed of your transgression so that your souls may be saved. You crazy bitch. No! 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 wife and child out of this. That's not how it works, Cord. For years, innocent have been shedding blood for the guilty. Open your mouth, Andy. I'll take the razor. Let my blood pay for my sins. I said open your mouth, Mindy! I'm gonna say a prayer first. A prayer. Short one. Will you pray with me?
Heavenly Father, I commend the soul of my innocent child into your care. I pray, I pray that you will... Get the keys! Mindy, get the keys! before you bleed to death. Mandy, don't believe anything she says. We are not talking about this right now. We have to. No, we don't. The only reason I'm doing this is to save my baby. Our baby. Just put your arm around me, come on. Get up, get up. Stella, get back in the car! Stella, get back! Stella, get in the car! What the hell are you doing?! Get inside! What is wrong? What is going on? What's with the machete? Stella, there is a crazy lady outside. She stabbed Cord and she's trying to hurt the baby. Did you call the police? We don't have any reception. Oh, you need to see a doctor. We couldn't get a signal. You, you, you really need to see a doctor. 
she disabled the car. Stella? Why are you here? I, I had this really bad dream that you guys were in danger. I tried calling, I couldn't get through. I thought I'd come out and make sure you're okay. Okay, we just need your keys. Sure, yeah, yeah. God damn it! The hood is up! She got the car! Okay, look, let's okay. get him away from the window. What are we gonna do now? We wait? For what? For her to make her next move or for someone to come get us. Okay, look, look, I'm gonna go get you some bandages, okay? I'll be right back. This is fucked up. Yeah, no shit. Do you see anything? Mindy. You've been a bad girl, Mindy. Put down the machete. I'm really quite accurate with this contraption. If I do say so myself. I said drop the machete. I don't want to shoot, but if you don't put it down, I, I will. You let her in? Why? Oh, she's my sister. Did you think it was by chance I came looking for the housekeeper position? Oh, I had to find out everything I could about you, so... So we could make you pay for what you did to my beautiful, my precious niece. I didn't do anything to her. I don't even know who you're talking about. I tried to tell her that, but she just wouldn't believe You are such a pathetic liar! Oh. You're to blame too, Mindy. She's to blame too. You should have known he was having an affair. I didn't! I wasn't looking for anything. Then you're a bigger fool than I thought. Men lie and cheat all the time. It's in their DNA. Killing our baby won't bring your niece back. Well, maybe not. <laughs> but it'll make us feel a whole lot better. <laughs> And you, you don't deserve the easy way out. This time, Mindy, there will be no praying. Handcuff her and hold her legs. Let's finish this. Yes, sister dear. <laughs> She didn't go far.
trying to kill me and the baby. Where's Cord? He's back at the house. She hurt him really bad. All right, you call the sheriff. I'll go out front. Sheriff? Yeah, it's Mindy Lawrence. Yeah, that crazy lady Martha? Yeah, and her sister Stella. Yeah, they're, they're coming after me and the baby. No, I'm at Joel's house right now. Stay down. Cord's at the house. He's really hurt. Be right over there, all right? We'll send an ambulance to get Cord. We'll be there in a few minutes. Hang tight. He'll be here in 10 minutes. What's going on? Martha and her. Sister Stella. Stella isn't related to Martha. She was Martha's best friend at the asylum. The doctors thought she was well enough to be discharged six months ago. Apparently they were wrong. Great. I need an ambulance sent to the Court Lawrence residence immediately. Court Lawrence? Yeah, you know him. Yeah, he was the guy who knocked up Melanie 12 years ago. That's impossible. Court would have been 10 years old at the time. What? Court is named after his father, Court Sr. Wow. Yeah, come on, let's go.
of the whore bearing the seed of evil. You will burn in hell for this, Mindy. <coughs> yeah, I may be a whore, but so was Melanie. What did you say? What the fuck did you just say? Dumb bitch. She fucks a married man, gets pregnant, and then kills herself? I am going to fucking kill you! Do it, Mindy! 
Martha, shut up! She's not gonna stop! The whole Mindy, time. Don't do this. Mindy, you don't want this kind of blood on your hands. Do it! Don't do it. Martha, shut up! The whole Mindy, time. Don't do this. Mindy! Spill the blood on the lamb! I have to do this! You're gonna live with this for the rest of your life. I will find you and that little devil spawn! Martha, shut up! Do it! Martha, shut up! Mindy, think of Cord. Think of the Spill baby. the blood of the lamb. It's God's will. <laughs> think of the baby. I will find you and that little baby devil. Martha, shut up! Cord, too. Martha, shut the hell up! Do it. Don't do it. Do it. Martha, shut the hell up! Sam, you have no idea what you've done. You don't want this kind of blood on your hands. She won't. Mindy? That's right. I won't. Martha, shut the hell up. You don't know. Martha, shut up. Mindy, think of Cord. Think of the baby. Huh. It's it. We got it. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. You don't want this on your conscience. Don't move. Don't move. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain safe. Anything you say, can and will be used against you. Court of law. You have the right to an attorney. You cannot afford an attorney. One will be presented to you. You understand these rights? You all right? Ambulance should be here soon. Come on. Let's get the hell out of here. Chopper will be here in a few minutes. Why didn't you let me kill her? It's not how we do things around here. Paramedics are taking Cord to the ER. Hopefully he'll pull through.
Through my